So hi everybody and welcome back. <clears throat> this is Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video number 10 and we stopped in the last video with our uh, uh, folder here which we created our game folder and then we created maps and we moved the mannequin in here because this one will be our character folder. So then what we are going to do now is let's get uh let's see what we are going to do uh let's talk about we will talk about the character uh blueprint later but before we do that i think we are going to clean here a little bit up because when we watch this content we have still here something like level prototyping and there are meshes st static meshes materials and textures actually we can keep this no we don't keep that we get rid of it because we want to have a clean folder structure let's get rid of it bye and you can see here when i click on delayed what i did was i right clicked on it and then I just go to delete. This is one way, but the short way is, of course, when you use here the shortcut on your keyboard, the delete button. And when we click on it, and then it asks us delete folder, blah, blah, blah. And then you click delete. And then there is a strange looking uh, pop up menu, which you can see here. And the problem is here. It says this assets, uh, this assets which uh, uh, which are in this folder are used anywhere, and you can see that here on top there is a reference list which says, for example, uh, we have here this SM ramp. This is a ramp asset which is in our level prototype folder, and it is has a uh, reference, has here a reference, and so on. And if I'm going then I can uh, choose here force delete or I can choose cancel. When you are going to use force delete, all the references will break. And when you call the uh, level or the assets or whatever it was referenced, there will be a compiler error. And let's do this because then I show you what does this mean. I go now for force delete. Normally you don't do this because you delete all before and then you can delete it normal. But because I know exactly what this is, let me show you before I delete what this all is. So um, here in level prototype, there's materials, meshes, and probably you saw this mesh here already, right? The static mesh in our starter map. So it was in our third person start map. And when I go now here to third person in map, this is our third person start map, not, uh, not this one, which we see here. This was our created uh, map. And when I go back here, these are the references which uh, it is calling. So for example, this mesh is here. You see, it's the same and it is saved here and that's why there is a reference the same goes for this 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 as well this is probably this thing here this ramp and so on so what we can so because i know i uh don't need anything here right here i don't need anything right therefore i change the map again i go to my map which we created in a later video therefore i go to my uh, game I click on my game folder, then I go to my map folder, then I click double click on my map, which I created. It was map level one. And it asks you all time save content. We don't need to save here anything. And then we change back to our map. And now I'm going to delete this whole folder. Even it says force delayed. So what I do again, I click on it, right click on it delete or just use the keyboard key delete it's faster and then uh, it asks us to delete it yes we delete it and now i use force delete so what happens now is 
it has deleted all the things but we have one problem what happens when i go back to the third person map which was here third person map and this map is still here but when i open this up now you can see the whole assets which was here before that was here um, the blue box and the wall the bottom are gone which means we don't need this map too it's literally useless now so what we can do with other words we can delete this map as well so let's do this we learned how we do this we go first in our map because we can't delete the level in which we are we have to change the level and then we can uh, delete the level so i change my level to my level and now i delete the map in which i am not so i'm going to delete this map here maps folder all right and here uh, there is no references this is the normal uh, let's watch this pop-up menu again now i did the same thing like before just clicked on map and then delayed and you can see now it says just delayed no force delayed and this is the reason for this is there are no references anymore so which means this is the normal way to delay it okay we uh we get rid of this one then the ne next thing is what we have here in third person we have some blueprints and actually we have here two important blueprints <laughs> these two blueprints are very 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 important so and that's why instead of deleting this folder here I, and i cr won't create anyway a folder in my uh, game folder also a blueprint folder so what i do is i click on blueprints here and drag and drop it here on my folder and i don't say copy here because i don't need a copy i just need them so i go for move here and what it says the following assets are referenced by one more class default object okay a uh, class default objects hmm let's say yes for this case because it says it's again a reference it has any references anywhere again and how we solve these references we make in another video there is a way a easy way actually but it takes a time to show that's why in another video we clear now this folder here so now this folder is cleared but there was an error message right we have to check if this is still working now so what we do is this folder is uh, empty now i delete this all right gone oh and we can see here third person game mode is not here but before we delete this it says there is still a reference even so there is nothing in it right so uh there is a general problem here when we delete something add something import something and that is in the uh, in the engine itself there are memory references right this is a technical term memory references is not important to know the only thing what you have to know is how to solve it and here i show it you go to all on top or any asset if you want but i make it just all i want that it checks all then i right click on it and that is wrong okay this is not what i wanted <laughs> then we go to content uh, this was all time working here so again we go on content it all is not working we go on content and right click on here yes now it is working because here is a very important section and it is called when you go down here it says fix up redirections in folder and this one you have to click and behind the scene all the changes for example i moved one folder up down or deleted or imported and so on this one takes this behind the scene and orders this and makes it uh, work also it works then so that's very important you have to do this a lot sometimes 
And yeah, let's check this one more time. Let's see if I can delete this one now. And you see, I could delete it now. Before it was, it said there was a reference, even so there was no reference. But now I have used this uh, clean, this fix, uh, clean fix <laughs> for all redirections. And then I could delete it. So keep this in mind. This is very important when you do stuff like that, uh, sh uh, changing your folders and so. So, and here the third person is also empty. Let's delete this as well. Good. So the only thing what left is now our folder and the starter content. This starter content I will not delete right now because it is a very a very nice content for beginners to learn many many assets right we will go through this uh, starter content and put it in our level and make use of it all right that said we jump back to our folder again let's watch what we have here so we have here maps mannequin and where is my actually where is my game of the blueprints? Oops. So I made here a mistake. I put the blueprints accidentally in mannequin. That's not the right place. So I click on it again, drag and drop here. I have to put it on my folder, on my main folder. And now I moved it again. And what I said before, when you move something, go here on content again, right click it. Go to the section, fix up redirections folder and all is fine. Okay, now we have a more clean folder structure. And this is very important because later when you start a game, for example, you have the best case is you have here nothing, only your folder, right? And then you can build up only the folder. As in my case, I built only or create only folders which I need, for example, in our case till now what i demonstrated you was uh, we needed a map yes i created a map folder and i created the map uh, uh, act, uh the map right then the other folders actually we not uh we don't created them we haven't created them or whatever uh the problem was they have they already existed with the third person template and i just take them over uh, but from uh, but in a new project for example if you start from scratch you would make them perhaps for also but in our case that's okay so that's that and let's test our structure let's talk a little bit more about structure because then we go on with more important things and this one is very important we have created here a blueprint folder we will talk about blueprints but before we talk about there are two already created blueprints and i said these two blueprints are very very important ones first of all this blueprint is called uh, blueprint bp uh, this is the convention with the underscore third person game mode and like i said this game mode is all time the starting point you can think about it um, all starts from here and then all other classes like this blueprint which is also important comes on a second place and so on and yes I think I stop here and in the next video we talk more about this one because we have to set up something not really but there is my convenience <laughs> setting here this world settings and I want it is already set here up we will test it and then we dive into I think we start with the game mode because it's the first place to start but the more important <laughs> Uh, let's say game technical more important is our character later but this one is the main class okay i think we stop here and go on in the next video there so see you there bye